Greetings and welcome back everyone to Dapperdell Farm in Stardew Valley. Where we are going to start the day off by checking the TV. Uh, what's the weather? Oh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Ooh, fishing day. Right on. Fortune teller. Spirits feel neutral today. Very well. And the Queen of Sauce. Queen of Sauce here to teach us a new mouth-watering recipe from her secret cookbook. Pizza! There's a reason pizza is a timeless culinary classic. You've got an artisan golden brown brun crust. You've got a tangy garlic infused marinara sauce. And you're topping it all with a mouth watering three cheese blend. And we're just getting started. Let's throw some fresh pepper and tomato on top. Oh my! I've learned how to cook a pizza. How marvelous. Do we have any chubs in here? Um, we do now. Right, okay. Let us head out. We've got many, many things to do today. We have got a letter to read. Dear Avak, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care. Vegetable stew. Ooh, a hearty stew. No doubt this will help me through many, many long nights. Oh, oh. caught you just before you were going to leave. Now, I was recently told a fantastically funny story. I shouldn't laugh, but I can't help it. There are certain things that are just too funny not to just stop everything else you're doing and just laugh for about two or three minutes at someone else's misfortune. Apparently, when Shelab was playing her game of Stardew Valley, there came a, a moment where, well, she was checking out her, her chickens and... She, I, I still, I can't, oh man, I, I hate being a horrible person, but it's too funny. She went into the chicken pen to check on her chickens, and in the time that she was in there, one of the walls around her gate rotted, which meant that she couldn't get back through the gate, because it closes when it rots. The problem was, she didn't have her axe with her, and it was a wooden wall, because she handed it in to be upgraded. She was literally stuck in the chicken pen. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. I felt so horrible. I, I could barely type for like two or three minutes. I was just laughing too hard. Ah. Some sometimes I realise I'm a rubbish friend. <sighs> Hello, my lovelies. How are you all doing? Moo. Actually, I'm gonna put down some fresh hay, just in case. You do not get enough food outdoors. But we are going to open this up. Take care of my lovelies, Robin. And by that, I don't mean to steal them like you do my money. All right, let's open this up. I'm still laughing on the inside about she left getting stuck inside her own chicken coop. That's just amazing. Amazing, I tell you. Right, I'm going to get all of the watering done. I shall bring you back when it is done, and we will plan what we're going to do with the rest of the day. I shall see you in a few moments. Okay, welcome back. We have 18 quality parsnips. I think we may just have completed everything we needed to do for the uh, for the community center quest. So, you know, that is that. Let's drop these off. Um... I'm going to store these ones. I imagine there's going to be a bunch of things that can use parsnips. Uh, yeah, we're going to store all of those. Yes, I like that. We're also going to store the cherries as well. We're also going to store the seaweed. Fantastic, I tell you. Uh, can we store the apricot? We can as well. Ha 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 ha. Right, okay. Now then, it is time for us to head out. And you know what? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, visit Leah. See if she's around. A little bit of an obstacle course there, I know, but it's kind of fun. Hello! Uh, we could go to Rasmodis as well. Have I given Rasmodis something? No, I have not. I haven't given Leah anything. Oh, my lord. Leah with Arata. Actually, that makes no sense if you actually know what Juliet was, was meaning to say, or rather conveying when she's... Uh, probably one of the most misused quotes... And probably also one of the most misquoted quotes of any book outside of like the Bible. Right. Hey, Jazz. How's it going? Oh no, I messed up again. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you like a jade? I love presents. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, lobster, goat milk, um, juice. More lobster, plum pudding, sunflower, mahogany table, more rare seeds. Um, let me just have a quick look. We do need goat milk, don't we? Yes, we do. Please, thank you. 1,000 for a corn. Bit dear, don't you think? I'm gonna have to fly like the wind at the moment, Akasha. No time for pleasantries, except, you know, for gathering dandelions. One must stop to gather dandelions, you understand. But we need to get in here and give Rasmodius his present. Right, smart. There you go. You're welcome, Rasmodius. Goodbye, Rasmodius. Ah, oh, my lord. You know what? I've come to understand that I am far more accomplished a friendship wizard than Rasmodius is. Everyone's afraid of Rasmodius. But uh, I seem to be the life of the party these days. I'm wondering if I really need to be his apprentice. I think he needs to be mine. I wouldn't say that to his face, of course, because he'd probably stick my head back in that cauldron again. <sighs> right, okay. Oh, hey, Alvin. Or you. Oh, my, this looks wonderful. Very kind of you. You're worth it. Um. Space laser? Yes. Is that? Oh, wow, Avak. This is spectacular. You're welcome. Have fun with your space laser. Hey, you've made another week of progress on the farm. It seems like things are going well for you. Yeah, actually, they're not going too badly. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes it going to sleep a lot easier. Hey, Emily. This house was left in our care by my parents. They've been traveling the world for the last two years. Oh, wow. Here you go. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have no idea when they'll be back. Oh, I enjoy living here, though. It's a beautiful area, and the town is nice. Oh, that's the way. Chin up. Oh, dear. What about... Pierre's about to walk away. Is he not? No, no. Welcome to Pierre's. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Right. I've got a few things I want to do. First, I want to say, sell you the mayonnaise, and then I want to sell you quite a lot of these. There we go. That may be a reasonable amount. I could tell you some of the other stuff as well, but I'm not going to. What I would like at this point is... Um, and garlic seeds might be nice. Four days to mature. I completely forget, though, how many I needed. Did I buy 20 or 30 or 40? I think I bought 30. I should have really paid attention to that. You may also have the mayonnaise and the cranberry jelly and my crystal fruit wine. You may not, of course, have my goat's milk. My goat's milk is my milk. You're not getting any of it. Roots platter? It was very kind of you. I like this. You're welcome, Pierre. I've heard the flowers are in bloom and the air smells great. Indeed it does. It smells of spring. Also, my eyes watering everywhere. Ah, the pollen. It's killing me. There you go. Thank you. This makes my day really special. I'm taking a break from house chores today. Well done, you. Um, would you like a survival burger? Hey, now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. You're welcome, Kent. I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. Hmm. I'm used to having more structure in my day. I suspect you literally did just get back from the military. Take the day off. You do that. And enjoy yourself. I wanted. Need a potato for my latest project, Maru. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that in time, I'm afraid, Maru. I do apologize. You'll just have to, you know, settle for a diamond. Oh. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Very well. Chocolate cake. For you. Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes, I am. Do you ever take a day off? Not very often. Uh, Kasha, you just hang tight. I will be right back. Hello, pantry. Ah, uh, it's been a while. There we go. We are now one crop away from perfection. And the greenhouse, apparently. Also, we are now 
Large goldsmith. Ah, you scoundrel. Uh, large milk. Okay, so they, they are things that you need to have someone very happy with you for. Wow, that is rather frustrating. I'll be honest with you. Rather frustrating indeed. Oh well. Um, no way, we won't be able to get to Gunther's now. Now, oh, a little birdie has told me. No, I'm not sure if they're pulling my leg, yanking my chain, cranking my crank. But, apparently, a certain sewer dwelling individual is rather fond of horseradish. I can understand this. I, too, am rather fond of horseradish. Thank you, this looks special. It is, I made it myself. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. I don't, I don't know, I mean... I guess the term household usually implies there's more than one person in it, but... Hey there, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you, Marnie. Um, would you also like one of my cranberry candies? Thank you. You're welcome. If I had a lobster, I'd give one to you. Apparently your cows like them. Oh. Hello. Here you go. This is an amazing gift. For my people, it is a great honor to receive so Wow. Okay. The little birdie was not yanking my crank after all. Uh, I would like to know why it is such a great honor, but uh, okay. You know, I'm not going to push my luck there. How peculiar. A great honor amongst amongst his people to uh, receive horseradish. Hmm. I wonder what the story is behind that. Right. Well. Hmm. Where could we go? You know what? Let's go and check on Elliot. See how Elliot's doing. Whee. Hey, Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it is. Oh, I haven't seen Leah. Perhaps she's having second thoughts. Oh, dear. Glass shards. Damn it. Don't want glass shards. There are a million different things that I would prefer more than glass shards. Well, actually, that's a massive exaggeration. It's probably only like, I don't know, a few hundred thousand things I'd rather more than glass shards. But, you know, the point stands that there's lots of other things that I'd prefer to glass shards. If I had an option. I mean, clearly I don't. It's locked. Well, scallywags. I wonder if perhaps Elliot went to the library. Or maybe Elliot is at the bar. He does occasionally show up at the bar, it seems. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, go swing past the bar and see how things are going. Hello, saloon. Uh, need a hot meal? No, actually. So, how are you tools holding up? Uh, they're not doing too badly, honestly. No one's over yonder. How's it going, Shane? You again. How many times do I have to tell you to leave me alone? Until I stop coming back, I suppose. <sighs> I wasn't very productive today. That's okay. You don't have to be productive every day, you know. She seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Oh, dear. Oh, there, Abak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Would you like... Yeah, sure, you can have a cranberry candy as well. Oh, goodness, you sure? Indeed I am, my fine fellow. Let's li listen to some different music. Settling in. Oh, this is nice. Ah, uh, you know what? Pam? Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Ha-ha! I knew they'll cheat. Oh, okay. I didn't cheat you up enough. But apparently, that is definitely where I need to go. Shane, when we're at a bar, a better way to make friends than to share a drink at the bar. Oh, wow. Avak, how do you know this is my favorite? I am a raging alcoholic. Ah, oh, I may have a relapse, but uh, thanks. Hmm. Maybe giving people just random drinks actually isn't the best idea, thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Ah, it's Lewis's birthday. Lewis! I'm sorry! Oh no! 
Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Please let me in, Lewis. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Lewis, I, uh, hmm. Uh, Lewis, you remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're welcome. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for re-election. I like to think it means that I'm doing my job well and having all of the other candidates assassinated long before the elections begin. Oh, how did you get out in front of me? You must have leapt out the window or something. Marnie, we can't. If we got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things to life, you know. Like Marnie! You scallywag! Yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. <gasps> Lewis! Normally, I would just remain in the bushes, just prying in on other people's conversations without them knowing, but... Sir, you need to grow a spine rather swiftly. Avak, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yes, but I'll keep it a secret. Yes, and I'm going to tell everyone! No. It's not my place to tell anyone anything. Thank you, Avak. I won't forget this. Why were you hiding there, anyway? Ah, uh, Nothing! Run away! I have no idea why I was hiding there. I feel that maybe by saying that I wouldn't tell everyone, I may have, like, messed up an opportunity for Marnie to have her relationship be known. I don't know. But me just going around telling everyone, I don't know, that, that seems odd. I, mean, I feel that even... It, Though I feel that they should 100% let everyone know and it shouldn't be a secret. It shouldn't be me telling people. It should be Lewis, damn it. I wonder what would happen if I spent all night in the graveyard. What do you think happens to us after we die? We come back as spooky ups. We go to heaven. Our energy bodies enter the astral plane. Nothing. We just cease to exist. You know, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, daffodils. I feel a bit better now. Seriously, though, Lewis. Can't have relations with a lady and then just be like, oh, my job. That's just cowardly. Not to mention disrespectful. Right. Akasha, you hang tight here. I will be back shortly. Whoosh! Oh! We have things. I will accept these things. I'm not sure why I am being given them. Have I done something good? I hope so. Regardless, I accept them. They are now mine and cannot be taken away. Well, I think could, actually, if I were to pass out and uh, Robin were to find me and rifle through my pockets before Linus happened upon us. The what Linus would be doing following Robin around, I don't know. Hello, everyone. I am returned. Actually, Akasha, if you would be so kind, my lovely. Take me over to the barn where I can close the barn gate. Let's have a look inside. Are you all all right? Cowlick is trying to sleep. I shall leave Cowlick alone. And now the chickens. Oh, you can actually move through one... High uh, gate, okay. That I wasn't expecting, I'll be honest. Right, okay. It's all still fertilized. I've got a few seconds. Time to plant like crazy! Speed planting. I am a professional farmer. Don't try this at home, you may break something. Ah, oh, poop! It was 40, I needed not 30. Well, that is annoying. Oh well. At least I've got loads of honey to take my mind off it. Okay, well, time for me to drop a bunch of stuff in here. Like, ten honeys worth of a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, we could keep the leak. I guess we could keep the goat's milk, too. I mean, I can use it for various things. Um, I would... Uh, oh, you haven't encountered any crows. Oh, that doesn't surprise me too much, considering the position. 
Uh, we'll pop those up there, those also up there, and then get one of each smelting. Fantastic. It is almost one o'clock. It is time for us to hit the sack. Not too hard, though. The sack hasn't really done anything wrong. Um, we'll just leave the milk in there. All right, I think that is good enough. I'm a little bit disappointed I couldn't find Leah today. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Ah, blessed sleep. Okay, 1,810 gold today. Not a bad day, all things told. Okay. Now, it is raining outside, but that is going to be it for this episode. Bit of a fast one, because I want to uh, get this uploaded as soon as I possibly can, as I'm running a little bit late today. The next episode will be the regular two-day part, and we'll be going up later on this evening. I hope you've all enjoyed, and will be joining me for the next. As always, your w feedback is warmly welcomed, and a like on the video lets me know that you'd like to see more in the future. But until then, do take care, everyone.